In this video, we will aim to understand the process of osmosis and apply it to explain some real life situations. If you leave gummy bears in different concentrations of water, they will either shrink or grow as a result of the process of osmosis. The first gummy bear was left in water. The second gummy bear was left in water and then covered in a salty solution of water. Here you can see the results. Osmosis is the movement of water molecules from a high to low concentration across a partially permeable membrane. This essentially means the movement of water from where there is more of it to where there is less of it and usually passing through a cell membrane. Why is this relevant to living things? Osmosis can dramatically affect cells, their size and their function based on the solution they are in. In your exam, there are three types of solution you need to know about, and you need to be able to explain how they affect cells. For this cell, the water is more concentrated on the outside of the cell compared to the inside. This means water moves from a higher concentration outside to a lower concentration inside, by osmosis across the partially permeable membrane. This causes the cell to swell up and expand. Eventually, the cell will burst if too much water gets in. We call this cell lysis. When water is more concentrated on the outside of a cell, it is known as a hypotonic solution. For this cell, the water is more concentrated on the inside of the cell compared to the outside. This means water moves from a higher concentration inside the cell to a lower concentration outside the cell, by osmosis across the partially permeable membrane. This causes the cell to shrivel up. When water is more concentrated inside a cell compared to the outside, it is known as a hypertonic solution. For this cell, the water is the same concentration on the inside and outside of the cell. Therefore, some moves into the cell and some moves out of the cell. As a result, the cell doesn't change. When there is an equal concentration of water inside and outside of a cell, it is known as an isotonic solution. Pause the video and try to explain the results of the experiment again now. Try to at least mention where the water molecules have moved and concentration. If you can, use the different keywords for the types of solution in your answer. Why did the gummy bears grow and shrink? The first gummy bear was in just water. This meant water was more concentrated on the outside of the gummy bear. It was in a hypotonic solution. Remember, the gummy bear is mostly sugar and gelatin, so has a low concentration of water. As a result, the water molecules moved from a high concentration outside to the lower concentration inside. Therefore, it swells up and expands, just like a cell. The third gummy bear was filled with water and then put in a very salty solution meaning the solution had a low concentration of water. This meant there was a higher concentration of water inside the gummy bear. Therefore, it moved out of the gummy bear by osmosis across the partially permeable membrane. This made the gummy bear shrink. Can you predict what would happen if a gummy bear was left in an isotonic solution? Pause the video and try to answer. For this gummy bear, the water concentration is the same on the inside and the outside. This means some water moves into the bear and some water moves out. As a result, there will be no change in the size of the gummy bear.
The definition of osmosis could be a three mark exam question. Your first mark is for saying the movement of water. Your second mark is for saying from a high to low concentration. And your third mark is for saying across a partially permeable membrane. You could also get a harder scenario exam question worth up to four marks. For example, they could give you a cell and ask you to explain why it looks the way it did. Pause the video and try now. For this question, you often get a mark just for mentioning the word osmosis. So if you think water is involved in a question, always use the word osmosis. You would also get a mark for recognising where the water has moved from and to. In this case, you would get a mark for saying the water has moved from the outside of the cell to the inside. You also get a mark for saying the water moves across a partially permeable membrane. Plant cells have a cell wall. This is rigid and strong. They still swell, but the cell wall stops them from bursting. You can remember the O in hypotonic reminds you the water is more concentrated on the outside of the cell compared to the inside. The E in hypertonic reminds you the water exits the cell and so must have been more concentrated on the inside. And the S in isotonic reminds you there is the same concentration on the inside and outside of the cell. If these key words confuse you, don't feel the need to use them in your answers. If you can fully explain osmosis, as I have done throughout the video, you can still get full marks in an osmosis exam question without using them.